Yo, 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 what's up, guys? It's Super Relux, and I'm doing a commentary. Actually, it's more of a funny story than anything, and it's actually really funny. Um, as you can kind of tell by the title, um, and just a quick saying, yeah, not saying, but something to say that's just some random MW3 gameplay. Um, yeah. Anyway, on to the story. As you can probably tell by the title. Uh, you're kind of wondering, uh, best troll story ever, what is it about? <laughs> well, last year, I was in 8th grade, and I kind of, um, on our last day, um, all the 8th graders, or at least the majority of them that could actually go, um, went to this place called Valley Fair, and, and was, it's, you might have heard of it if you live either in Wisconsin or Minnesota, it's like a really big fair. You know, and it's got all these cool rides and crap, you know. So I went there. And on our bus ride there, because we live in a little town in Wisconsin, you know, so we had to ride all the way to Minnesota, you know. So, and then when we get there, or on our way there, I'm kind of contemplating on the bus, you know. Kind of like, what should I do? Just to like, you know, f screw with people's minds. You know, kind of get this little logic of myself. You know, just kind of like leave my mark. And I said, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna act like a redneck. You know, like I'm talking like cousin loving redneck style. You know, I'm, and I'm gonna walk up to people with my friends, and I'm gonna ask them or say to them, Hey, you got a pretty mouth. You wanna come to the bathroom with me? And this is probably one of the best trolls ever, because I, when I got there, there was this like, uh, he looked really weird. Like he looked kind of like trailer park trash, but not really. Like he was like, wearing a little wife beater and um, like swimming trunks, and he was like the only guy there that was doing that, and he was like really fucking skinny. So, anyway, I walked up to him, and I said, hey, you got a really pretty mouth, follow me into the bathroom later, and he actually did, and it scared the living shit out of me, it was like so weird, it was like, um, it was just like so spontaneous, because I was seeing him all throughout the day, because we got there about 9, not 9 a.m., but maybe around 10, 30, 11 a.m., you know, when we left, about five, oh uh, no, no, four thirty, five o'clock maybe, somewhere in there, you know, I was seeing him all throughout the day, like a majority of my rides, he was there, and I was so f fucking creeped out, because I thought he was following me around, so, you know, kind of just went on through the day, and the worst part is, he actually did say sure, you know, and the creepy part was, I fucking walked into the bathroom, who do I actually see? I see that guy. He's like, you want to test out my pretty mouth? I was like, ah, uh, uh, I'm fucking scared, and that was bullshit because I got three hit markers on that guy. Anyway, back to the story. Um, now, um, I th there was one part in the day where mm, I'd say it's like 1:30, where we had to go toward Boston to eat. Now. He was, he, I didn't even realize, but he actually snuck away, like he wasn't on the bus, but I could see him, and then legit walking around the parking lot and waiting for me, and I wasn't so scared, because I was kind of laughing along with my friends, along with my friends, you know, we were kind of giggling, you know, and, you know, so, eventually I told him it was just a joke, I mean, he's, uh, he, he did like little little oh but I decided to do it to a few other people and the next per my next victim was unfortunately my teacher but she know she knew we were just screwing around because she, um we were talking to her about it too you know and she said it was all right I mean I'm I'm don't have all the balls to do that alone but you know so unexpectedly I walked up to her you know, I 
I kind of figured it was just like a like a high schooler, like a high school girl, and like she had nice blonde hair. And I was like, hey, you got a pretty mouth. You want to go test it with me in the bathroom? And she whips around. She sees me and starts fucking laughing her ass off. And it was one of the best things ever to have experienced in my in school. Or I guess not really in school, but with like a teacher ever. Because like it was so random. Just because of what happened. And I got turned on majorly by another dude. <laughs> and it was like one of the best things ever. And I had uh, like two or three other victims, so-called victims, and random semtex for the win. <laughs> Steady ammo weren't though. <laughs> but uh, our next victim was like I don't know how to explain, but it was another girl. I think yeah, the rest were all girls. Like I just wanted to fuck with that one guy and see if I could actually trap him, so to speak. You know, so I walked up to a girl, you know, I was, and I had my friend to cover me this time. You know, so I kind of walked up behind her, and like I kind of went all creeper, you know. I was like getting ready to hiss and blow off, but then, uh, you know, so I'm walking behind her. I don't want to my f turn to my friend. I'm like, hey, dude, you got a pretty mouth. Let's go test it out in the bathroom. And she. Or, no, I didn't say dude. I was like, hey, you got a pretty mouth. Let's go test it out in the bathroom. And she looked at me like... I mean, it wasn't like a dizzy blonde, but she gave me one of the greatest looks of all time. Like, she looked at me legitly like she was... She had her mind equal beyond blown. Like, she couldn't tell. Because, like, there was... It was like a pack of girls. So we knew we could all fuck with them at once. So we kind of, you know, we took that chance instantly. Like, in our minds, it was golden opportunity. Numero uno, you know. And so, you know, we take that opportunity, and I fail with the IMS. Check my score. You know. And she looked at me. Her, f like, she's like, oh my god, are you talking to me? And, I mean, that voice. Well, actually, that was a pretty good description of her voice and I fucking already forgot about the IMS and I was like duh, duh, duh. I hear the sound <laughs> and suddenly demolished you know and then you know and her friends are like what did you just say to me again okay that one wasn't her voice but you know you get the picture you know what did you just say to me I was like oh that was mentioned to this guy over here and I pointed to my friend who apparently became a fucking ghost because he was nowhere. It was basically like he had an assassin pro on and just... <sighs> I tried to put that UAV up and he was not there. Just to get random Semtex stick for a win again. <laughs> you know. But, you know, and I was like, you know, I'm looking like a dumbass because I'm pointing to the air. And she's just looking at me. She's looking at my finger just like... You know, I'm fingering the air, and it's just like, what? She's like, what are you doing? There's no one there. I'm like, I finally look over. There's no one there. I was like, that's not good. Why did you ditch me? You asshole. You ditched me. And, oddly enough, you know, it's, you know, I, and they were like, aww. You know, I was like, can I just say I'm, like, I'm just doing this for fun? Instantly forgiven. Yeah. Um, just for the record, guys, I am a literal genius. You know, but time's running out. And my last victim, she, she was, like, dumbfounded when I said this to her. Because, like, she was not expecting it. Because it was actually my girlfriend. My now girlfriend. And it was so random because I knew her. I'm not gonna say her name. And if my friend comments of her name, yeah, I see that IMS finally, baby. Oh, oh, oh. And I still get owned by it. God damn. You know, but if my friend Nadim Yegman posts that comment, I will. Uh, 
I will do unexplainable things. Anyway, you know, I walked up to her, tapped her on her shoulder, hey, you got a pretty mouth. She whipped around, and I was like, oh, shit, the wrong person. Just like there, oh, shiz, wrong person, wrong time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this commentary slash funny story. I'm planning to make more, guys. Alright, check you later.